Hello all, and welcome to the Paul Chandler Show. I am your host, Paul Chandler. Tonight is the second part of our three-part series over the COVID-19 pandemic, in which tonight's discussion will be covering the diagnosis coding or ICD-10-CM coding for COVID-19. In part two of our three series on COVID testing and the coding for it, now we're going to talk about the diagnosis codes regarding it. So first we're going to talk about two of the Z codes that we have. So we have Z03.818 and Z20.828. These are the encounter codes that we use. So it's not a confirmed case at this point, but as far as these two different codes, we would use Z03.818 when the patient, when they come in, when it is an encounter for observation for suspected, and the keyword there is suspected exposure. And I'm just going to underline the word suspected there to emphasize that. And then we would also have Z20.828. I'm just going to fix that zero right there. There we go. So Z20.828, when the patient, when they come to the office, when there has been contact with and suspected exposure, with someone that is a confirmed positive COVID-19 patient. And on this one, then I'm gonna underline the word confirmed. So that's the main difference though, that we have between Z03.818 and Z20.828 where it all depends on based on the contact with the patient. If it's a suspected contact, then we're in the Z03.818. However, though, if the patient has confirmed 100% yes, they came in contact with, and also possible, ex possible as in a suspected exposure with someone that is a confirmed person that has COVID-19, then we would use the Z20.828 code. Now, after the COVID-19 testing has been completed and the results come back positive, then we have the U07.1 code, and that is, would be for positive COVID-19 results. Now, with the U07.1, it does have a few excludes one rules. And one of them, and I'm just gonna write down the code numbers because these exclude one rules are already existing codes. So now we just for safe of the board, then you can look up the code numbers in your ICD-10 manual or online. So with the U07.1 for positive COVID-19 testing, the excludes one codes include B34.2, which is coronavirus infection on specified site. And one thing to remember as far as the documentation that when COVID-19 started, the term coronavirus was often in the news and used. However, though, the term coronavirus is actually a condition that already existed. So I'm not saying that COVID-19 already existed. It's that co uh, the term co uh, coronavirus is a generic term. And in this case, this specific type we just we call it COVID-19. While while there's the longer name for it, then COVID-19 is the specific type that started back in December 19, hence the name COVID-19. 
So the U07.1 positive COVID-19 testing, so again, the first excludes one code is B34.2 for coronavirus infection on specified site. Then we also have B97.2 for the second excludes one code and B97.2 for coronavirus as a cause of disease. And then the third and final excludes one code under the U07.1 for COVID-19. The third excludes one code is J12.81 for SARS, S-A-R-S. Now, so if a patient comes back with, a, again, a positive result for coronavirus, then they are the U07.1. However, the test comes back negative, then we would code the signs and symptoms that the patient came in with. So there's three signs and symptoms that often come with COVID-19. So again, so if a patient has negative COVID-19 results, we would code some conditions that the patient would have. So for example, if a patient has a cough, then we would code that as R05. If the patient is negative for COVID-19, but for example is an SOB, as in shortness of breath, then we would code that as R06.02, and or if the patient has a fever, then we would code that as R50.9. So again, these three codes here, R05 for cough, R06.02 for shortness of breath, and R50.9 for fever, we would only code any combination or just any one of those codes if a patient has negative COVID-19 results, but has any of those conditions, we would use those codes instead. But if a patient has a positive COVID-19 result, then we would use the U07.1 code because all these conditions, cough, shortness of breath, and fever, are symptoms of COVID-19. So that goes back to the default ICD-10 coding where if we have signs and or symptoms and we have a definitive diagnosis, then we only code the definitive diagnosis, not the signs and symptoms in that case. Okay. So as a recap, so we have a total of six different codes here that are mainly used with COVID-19 testing. Z03.818, if a patient comes in and has an interaction or encounter with a possible person or suspected person of COVID-19. Z20.828, if the patient had either confirmed or suspected to have interaction with a positive COVID-19 person. U07.1, for co positive COVID-19 results. And then if they're negative results, then we have to code some possible symptoms, R05 for cough, R06.02 for shortness of breath, and R50.9 for fever. And that concludes part two of three in the series on COVID-19 testing. Our next part, part three, will be on the telemedicine codes that we've had a lot of them from before, but there are some new codes and some just a recap as well as those definitions. Again, so that'll be on the third installment of our three-part series on COVID-19 testing, talking about telemedicine codes and telehealth. But for as far as part two here, I do thank you for watching on diagnosis coding for COVID-19 and have an awesome rest of your day. If you like this video and want to see more, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's so easy. It's right there. A little button. Just push it. Subscribe. I got all night. Nothing else to do. Just subscribe.